Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our FTB Interactions series. Uh, last episode, we went ahead and did quite a bit of crafting and got our few machines crafted up here. MV machines, I should say. So we can finally get some better circuits. Fortunately, we did run out of time uh, last episode. But yeah, as we can see, lots and lots of wafers. Um, that is always fun. I need to get a bit better organized here. I keep saying that. I swear, I swear that every single episode of any series. I need to get better organized, and I never do. But uh, I do need to get better organized. Uh, so basically, um, we are doing this. Let me clear out some of these quests, because they always seem to give us... Well, that's not super exciting. But uh, we always seem to end up with some good uh, rewards. Like there, lots of clay. That is pretty cool. I can send that through the electrolyzer and get a whole bunch of silicon. Uh, I haven't quite gotten to rutile yet, but uh, we will in a little bit. Is that everything? No. Uh, there is the wafers. See, there's 32 more wafers. What do we got? Nothing for that. But we do need the integrated circuits. So basically, we just need to throw this in there now i think i'm gonna do we'll do a few about it doesn't really matter but uh we have so many wafers <laughs> uh that's gonna last us for a little while so that will go now i have a feeling if i no we can actually all right so like one one click of the time in the bottle usually works i've noticed if it's kind of fluctuating the power like that um you can get away with like one click but more than that it's probably going to be too much but uh all right there is the integrated circuits so there is that now there also is different um, different things we can get from these wafers and basically they require a different a different thing oh man this is kind of annoying because i need to i need to craft up a block but then i just have eight plates that i'm like never going to use <laughs> um i don't remember where i yeah so like eight ruby plates i'm like never going to use those I don't think there is yeah i may just yeah, i am gonna do that pulverize these back down and then we can get actual like dust from it because those plates are never gonna get used now oh i do have some green sapphires nice can i compress this or i don't think i can nope all right i gotta autoclave this and then i gotta turn it into a block and then cut it. I'm going to throw a couple more buckets of that in. I should look at uh, once I've kind of got MV circuits a bit more automated. Well, not automated, but um, once I'm done with this, I think I may look at some chickens, to be honest. All right, there is a couple other quests too. Empty cells. Oh, cool. Mitts. Fancy mitts with mending and unbreaking. That's kind of cool. Let's go in there right next to those. Although I probably don't need these anymore. I'm just going to get rid of them. And another gold chest. Yeah, these are, uh, I have to say, these are pretty good rewards. Um, I upgraded this to a gold thing. So that's where we got that from. And right, visiting the nether. Got us a, a thing in the that final chapter. That is pretty cool. Where did I put the all these? Are they in here? They're right there. Oh, it's green. Why is it green? 
Also, you can see when I'm recording. <laughs> Spoiler alert! It's uh, the day before it goes live. <laughs> this episode. I do not have a backlog right now. Alright, let's get to that. Alright, what was the uh, last one? Here? Yes. Diamond or glass? I'll probably do diamond. Do I have even... I don't have enough diamonds. What am I talking about? Um, we'll do glass. So I think I can do... Is this something we can do? No. I should have looked. Diamond or glass lens. Oh, see, that's kind of annoying. But it's actually not that annoying. I have this set up. A bit annoying, though, because I don't have thing in there but if we do that there we go so that's like a one-to-one -one. and then lathe and I can't wait to get everything automated with AE it's always really fun just being able to click a few buttons and we get everything. All right, so there is that. I may do like eight of each, maybe. Just to kind of get a decent buffer. Although, I do want to just finish up these. These quests. Did that? Oh, that was weird. All right, and what? Yeah, I'll just leave that. I'm always tempted to hit it one more time, and then it never gets enough power. <laughs> all right, but there is the CPU wafer, and these are all the same, basically. You take the CPU and throw it in the cutting machine, and that gets you... The circuits but uh yeah there is that so basically what we're going to use these integrated circuits for is these electronic circuits instead of doing the annoying horribly annoying and manual circuits with the different cables and all that stuff we can finally just throw this in an assembler with much much easier and we can even get as we progress we get even easier uh, recipes for this. I don't think there is, no, this one. And then we get even easier where we get four circuits at once. So, and then even farther up, we get an even easier recipe. So that is always something fun to work towards. I always push for circuits. Um, that's usually something I like always kind of push towards when I am trying to process, I try to process, um, I like kind of rushing better circuits. Uh, it just makes things easier in my opinion. All right. Um, throw that in there. Let's get a little organized here. This chest is completely not organized. <laughs> I don't know. I'll throw those in there and see there is one more machine i want to get and i think i'll get it today especially with we get better circuits um yeah so basically we're moving on to this one now we know how to make these easy enough i may have some extra all right i have four um yeah so basically we need Copper wire integrated circuits, and we can see how many we get. One of these circuit wafers gets an eight of that. So, I mean, that's super easy. So, two of those, and then two of those. And then we need these circuit boards. Now, I actually don't have... Yeah, we haven't done these yet. There is a quest right there for them. We get 16, so that's cool. We, get, we only need to craft the one up. Let's do... 
that over there. Now, we can do bisphenol, but that is super complicated. We're not getting into that yet. Um, if you do it that way, you get four from one. But, I mean, sawdust, I mean, it doesn't really matter. This is, so we're saving on, like, three sawdust? Like, whoopee. Um, but, uh, probably shouldn't have that in a separate chest. We'll take that. And sawdust. I think wood pulp. Yeah, wood pulp is the same as sawdust. Um, so I think we'll do, we'll just do like a bunch. It, like I said, it is super cheap to make. We just need glue. And to get glue, we need sticky resin. Um, you can do it, you can make it uh, with chemistry, or you can just centrifuge some sticky resin to get that. You can even centrifuge sap. That's pretty cool. Uh, sap is, you get it from, uh, I forget what you get it from. Are the thermal machines? Looks like a lot of them are actually disabled. Am I, am I crazy there? Like, yeah, I think a lot of them are disabled. So maybe <laughs> sap isn't the easiest thing to get. I was thinking that would be really easy. But uh, yeah, we'll just throw this in a centrifuge. I don't have a... No, we didn't. Couldn't remember if we... For some reason, I was thinking we had a better centrifuge. It was the... The electrolyzer that we upgraded. Alright, so there is our glue. And we're also getting the raw rubber pulp as well. So I have been using the extractor. You get four out of it. Um, you only get three, I think, from this. So it's not as good of a thing, but we're still getting raw rubber pulp, which is I'm not going to complain with that. Although let's not do that. I need to get that rubber out, actually. So this is why I don't like having... Um, do I need tin cable? I may just do uh, copper. Um, I don't like having assembly machines with fluid in them because when I need to put a different fluid in. And in this case, we have to put tin in it. So I like to have them um, emptied out. But, uh, all right, there we go. Let's get that out. Now, plant pol, I don't know what we can get biomass from it. Blue slimy sapling. That's good to know. I guess we'll just throw that in there. I totally don't remember. I haven't. Ah, right. Rubber wood. Don't we? I'm trying to remember. Do we have rubber saplings? Yes, we do have rubber saplings. Uh, sometimes. Having different series running, I get confused. <laughs> but uh, there we go. So fast recipe, easy enough. And there is our 10 boards. I wish I could put something in there. Or I wish they had like a little, maybe a little um, inventory where you could put extra stuff like that in. Maybe one for like a few circuits or something like that. Or just, you know, it'd be cool if this was implemented in the, the GUI, like right here. Like, I want to do circuit 24. So you could just like up and down arrow to program it. I think that would be a much better solution. But uh, all right, is that? I think that's everything. We just need the molten tin. Now, I don't think, ah, oh, there is a soldering alloy. Soldering alloy is usually the best to do so if you mix 
antimony with soldering alloy. Why don't we do that? We'll do it's nine and one antimony. I don't have a whole lot of wait. Didn't we get stibonite? Yes. All right. So I can get some more antimony. That's right. I did find it. But uh, yeah. So if you look at this, this is one ingot of tin. Um, if you do soldering alloy, it uses half, and uh, it's just better. And I'll probably have an assembler full of soldering alloy. Just we'll keep it constantly full at some point. Now we'll just do this. Turn it to the left. Throw one in there. And there we go, there is the soldering alloy. Now, if we remember, it is half a thing. But we'll get two out of that. And uh, yeah, there we go. There is our basic electronic circuits. So that, we already had that from a quest, I think. I don't remember where we, yeah, we got, a, we got those from a quest, I believe. So. No super exciting fanfare there, <laughs> but uh, yeah, now we can use these instead of using these integrated logic circuits for two and one diode, we can actually make these good electronic circuits in the assembler again. So again, sorry, no alloy, but uh, this time it is three basic circuits and then we just kind of add more stuff to it. So why don't we go ahead and uh, we already have yeah, we already got those, didn't we? Um, what I should do, and I just didn't do it because I need to spend a bit of time crafting, is make these in bulk. So do like 18 basic electronic circuits and get like six medium ones. Um, but I just need to craft some stuff up, like the, uh, the resistors. But uh, I can actually get rid of all this stuff now. And, uh, yeah, that is that. Now I do, now that I have an easier way to get circuits, MV circuits, I should say, uh, there is a, another, um, MV machine that I want to get crafted up here. And this will make things much easier. Um, and that is the extruder. Because that will let us do a lot of kind of annoying things. If we look at like iron, iron ingots, if we uh, put it through extruder, we can uh, get not, I'm not going to do plates, but uh, yeah, I can do like iron bolts. Uh, we can do easy iron rings. We can do gears easier and we can also do some parts or uh, stuff like this, which we can't do. I don't think there is iron we can, but if we want like better tools, I do have to throw it through the extruder. Um, so I am going to do that. Yeah, and I don't know if there's actually a this is actually that's kind of weird. Is that right? I feel like that's wrong. The MV extruder uses LV parts. Well, that uses UV. That is ZPM. IV. All right, well there, yeah, I don't know. That's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> MV, HV, and EV use a lower tier. I think that, I think that's a mistake from them disabling something. That seems a bit weird. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, <laughs> we'll craft that up. Uh, I actually have two basic electronic circuits there, and uh, look, I even have a piston. Just need some copper wire. 
what was that 16 copper wire i think that was yeah and i do need some more i should craft up a bunch of steel Now, I feel like I feel like this isn't filling up. It should be filling up faster than that, I feel like. I thought this input... Didn't this like input like here first? I could have sworn this like outputted into the nearest. Didn't we... I thought... Didn't we see that one time? Um, I have been using the oxygen, but... I thought this would go in here... Before it filled that up. Not that it really matters, but... I mean... Worst case scenario, I just grab some of that oxygen and put it in there. All right, there is that. Is that everything for this? Ooh, I don't have medium brown pipe. All right, let me craft this up and we'll be right back. And these pipes are another thing that getting the extruder makes much easier. So I got to use tools for this, but if we do an extruder, um, we don't. So file, Where'd the hammer go. Oh, there it is. I want to use this one up. There is medium bronze pipes. That. Definitely think this recipe is wrong. <laughs> feels a bit. I mean, maybe not, but feels weird. Feels weird using LV component to make an MV extruder. All right, cool. There is a quest. I wasn't sure if there was actually a quest. Ah, oh, there it is. Cobalt, a Cornish pasty. You like me a Cornish pasty? Most Greg Tech packs, this lets you get the best ingot to rod ratio for your materials. In addition to this pack, you can now start extruding Tinker's tools. Yeah. So that is definitely something to think about. Now I'm going to... I threw a chest here so I can throw these lens in uh, for that because we ended up we end up changing those out a lot. And uh, it's a bunch of those. And what are we looking at with our power? Actually, not too bad. I have been running some stuff here, so. What are you running? I feel like we only have like one thing running, don't we? Electrolyzer? We, I thought, I feel like we should be gaining power there. Unless something is like Are we trying to fill batteries over here or something? No. Oh, hmm. That's a bit weird. Oh, well. Um, we do need some... What did I do with that steel? Made steel, didn't we? Yes. There it is. Um, I need some extruding things. So... One of the ones we want is gear. Oh, that's cool. I love that. Um, I love being able to chisel this stuff. Now, I'm just going to do... I'll do that by hand. You can... You can metal bend it, but then I would have to change the circuit. It's kind of annoying. But, uh... Yeah. So we'll do that. And... Should do it on this one. File hammer, yes. Where is my chisel? It is. Um, maybe I will. I don't know. We. It depends how much we're changing things, but um, maybe I'll leave that in there. And I mean, we technically don't need to keep making new ones, but I could just keep changing that if we want it. But uh, yeah, um, I'm actually not. 
I don't know which one we're gonna need next. It does. I'm just trying to think. Um, I don't want to just use. Ah, we are gonna need this, right? So this is something to maybe start looking towards. But all right, let's do this then. So instead of that one, we'll do the small gear. Now I have been. Wait, is there not a small? Hold up. Can you not make small gears in? Am I just blind? <laughs> There's the mold, but there is no extruder, right? Am I blind? All right, well, this isn't a chisel recipe. That's a bit odd, right? <laughs> Just, there's just happens to be one random. All right, need to. Yeah, this is a bit odd. Go back and then make it like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a mistake as well, I think. <laughs> We're finding all the weirdness right now. Uh, there we go. So basically, before to make those, I had to turn the. The gear into a a plate and then I would see yeah turn the the aluminum into a plate and then use a hammer to get a small gear now we can just directly put the, the ingot in to the mold right there so that is pretty cool all right but uh, I'm not gonna do too much of that I just wanted to get that uh, extruder crafted up because I'm sure we will be using this a lot more in the future. All right, um, cleaned up my inventory a little bit and uh, kind of figured out that we are kind of at the point where I'm going to have to finally get into some plastic. Um, we do have our auction that we needed to get, and uh, we do have the oil that we need, but I am going to need to craft up distilleries for that so we can turn our oil into a light fuel but somewhere. I can't remember. We have... What kind of we have oil right yeah just regular oil yeah um so i need to turn it into uh, like light fuel or heavy fuel so we can get some byproducts from that um for example if we um steam craft naphtha i think we'll maybe do um but we can get ethylene from steam cracked naphtha so that's like kind of its own little chain there and um yeah i think i think that's what we're gonna do um there is a thing for chemistry now is there we do have hydrogen we do have sulfur Spawn blaze. Hmm. All right. It's actually telling us no. That's sulfuric acid. Where is there's sulfuric naphtha? That's what I was just talking about. Um, I'm just trying to get my bearings here. Is that getting salty? <laughs> Salt water. Maybe it's under MV. All right, there it is. That's what I was kind of talking about. So oh, the gear is takes you away. So yeah, advanced brewery. I'm just kind of figure out what way it is. Uh, it's telling us to do it that way. I usually don't like going that way. 
But uh, all right, so we're gonna have to look into that. There is multiple different ways to get ethylene, as we can see. So I gotta figure out which one we want to do. We could do propene or light fuel. We could do sulfuric acid, ethanol. So lots of different ways, but we are gonna need a distillery. But uh, that thing is, where was that? Where did that go? Yeah, that's giving us a blaze. Hmm. Maybe I should, oh man, maybe I should start. Uh, I don't know. I'm like stuck. I don't know what I want to do. Should we, we could even get into this simulation chamber. Ah, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Cause yeah, that's just a one blaze powder and we could get a, maybe we'll do that and then I can get it. You know, one of these is 64. Uh, yeah. All right. So a couple things I need to kind of figure out here. That's for sure. Um, other sulfur. I thought I had sulfur. Let me just... We'll do that and uh, get that quest. And then I'll figure out what I want to do with this, uh, <laughs> with this blaze. But... Uh, yeah, we'll have to get into that uh, next episode. But uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.